Hey, so I'm going to take you through an exercise that I was doing in my class this week and that we're probably going to do a little bit more work on. Um, this is an exercise for those of you that have got what I refer to uh, stuck bums, sticky out bums, um, and basically an anterior pelvic tilt. So you're sort of like this, okay? Um, it is really common for riders. Um, one of the main reasons being, particularly for dressage riders, in that the dressage saddle itself, um, because of the angle of the thigh in them, which sort of regular riding you'd be at about 45 degrees of your thigh, dressage saddle probably looking at 30, maybe even less. That automatically puts you in an anterior tilt. So in order to get neutral spine, we're actually having to posteriorly tilt to get neutral. Okay, if you, if you, so if you've already got a natural disposition to be in an anterior pelvic tilt, you then get in your dressage saddle. I mean, you've got to travel a long way to get to neutral. So we just find it really difficult. And obviously we spend a lot of time there, which means that these muscles of the back get really short. Now, just because they're short doesn't necessarily mean, as is commonly thought, that they're like contracting and working really hard. They can be short and weak as well, because they're actually, basically they're dysfunctional, rather than saying they're weak or strong or whatever. They're just not able to do their job properly, okay? So, there's long muscles at the back here, the lats. There are a few others around them, um, but I'll kind of go with that one, just the big muscle at the back, just to explain this to you. What you're gonna do is so using the pole, you're gonna do what might be quite a big tuck under. Now, if you really struggle with the tuck under, think about making a C shape. And if you have to, over exaggerate it so you might feel like you have to slump your shoulders whatever that's absolutely fine for a little bit if that's what gets you to be able to tuck under so what you want to do is lengthen those muscles out and then ask them to work in a lengthened position which is what they're not used to doing they've been working in a shortened position okay so you're going to take the pole out in front of you you're going to tuck under keeping your arms straight shoulder blades back and down and i want you to raise the pole up as high as you can without wanting to punch your shoulders or indeed come out of that posterior tilt okay so we're gonna raise up now I do have quite an anterior tilt and I did just a few of these and it's really hard and I actually really felt my back after and that's good if you start to feel like the muscles in your back are like that's actually that's doing something it is doing something okay just do a few of them obviously you know if it does hurt your back that is good because muscle soreness means that the muscle did something it's not always a bad thing to have muscle soreness in your back but just do a, do a few you know do like 10 good ones and then do them 10 more the next day and just gradually build up to doing them and see how you get on all right so this is a really good one for making us go from this to this, all right? Uh, I'd love to know if you try this out and uh, how you get on. Bye.